May 2025 is packed with amazing things to see in the sky, from planets hanging out together, to a meteor shower from Halley's Comet, to a full moon that's a little smaller, to the moon covering up a star, and a dark sky perfect for seeing even more stars. There's a lot happening up in the sky this month, and you don't want to miss it. Let's jump right in. First up, right at the start of May, on May 1st, Venus and Saturn are going to get pretty close to each other in the night sky. They're not going to actually meet, but they'll look like they're hanging out together from where we are on Earth. Venus will be super easy to spot because it's super bright, that's why it's often called the evening star. Saturn will be nearby, but it won't be as bright, so you might have to look a little harder to find it. The best time to see them is after the sun goes down, once the sky gets dark. Just a couple of days later, on May 3rd, something else cool is happening. The moon and Mars are going to be really close together in the sky. This is called a conjunction. That night, the moon will be a slim crescent, kind of like a little glowing smile, and it'll be sitting next to the red planet Mars. Plus, they'll be near the Beehive Star Cluster, which is a group of stars that looks like a little fuzzy patch. If you have binoculars or a small telescope, you might be able to see even more details. Then, get ready because on the night of May 4th into the early morning of May 5th, we have the Eta Aquarid meteor shower hitting its peak. If you've never seen a meteor shower, it's like a bunch of shooting stars zooming across the sky. The best time to watch will be just before dawn on May 5th. The cool part is, this meteor shower is made up of bits from Halley's Comet. If you live in the southern hemisphere or near the equator, you'll get the best view, but even if you're further north, you should still be able to catch some meteors. In a dark place, you might see up to 50 meteors every hour, and don't worry about the moon being too bright. The sky will be nice and dark for some awesome viewing. Next up, on May 12th, we're getting a full moon. It's not just any full moon either. It's called the flower moon. That's because in May, a lot of flowers are blooming, and people a long time ago named the full moon after the flowers. The moon will look big, round, and beautiful, and it'll be hanging out near some bright stars called Zubanel Ganubi and Antares. Now this full moon is also a micro-moon. That means the moon is a little farther away from Earth than usual, so it'll look a tiny bit smaller, and not quite as bright as other full moons. Just two days later, on May 14th, something even crazier is happening, a lunar occultation of Antares. That's a fancy way of saying the moon will pass right in front of the star Antares, and it'll look like the star disappears for a while. Antares is a big bright red star in the constellation Scorpius, and it's one of the brightest stars you can see. The moon blocking a star like that doesn't happen everywhere, it depends where you are on Earth, but if you're in the right spot, it's like watching magic in the sky. If you've got a telescope or even a good pair of binoculars, definitely try to check it out. Finally at the end of the month, on May 27th, we'll have a new moon. This is when the moon is between Earth and the Sun, so we can't really see it at all. It's actually the best time for stargazing, because there's no bright moon to wash out the faint stars. If you ever wanted to see cool stuff like galaxies, star clusters, or nebulae, this is your chance. Just find a dark place away from city lights, look up, and enjoy the incredible show. So, if you have a chance, grab your family or some friends, go outside and look up. It's pretty amazing what you can see when you take the time to look. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome space stuff.